I'm gonna start throwing and Nick's gonna come down and yell at me. It's just a day by day thing that I just gotta keep on doing. Oh! Big breaking ball by Joe LaSorsa. And that's late. Nice job, Joe LaSorsa. Welcome back. Sanchez strikes out. He went to the slider. The Padres leave him loaded. Here's a 1-2 to Bernadina. Got him! This is Joe Lasorsa with Velo U's first edition of On the Farm. This is a good friend of mine, Gary Gild Hills. He's a young, aspiring minor leaguer for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's a good friend and a good catch play partner. Fire. Good. Okay, now we're gonna go warm up the arm. Oh gonna warm up the throw. <laughs> the pro way. I don't think I need a spotter for this next one. PR. Good. I'm ready to throw now. Or test arm tear at least. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, this dude is good. Oh my god. You've been productive, Gary. Okay, so this is something that we do. It's called arm care. Alright, so let me actually explain what Joe is testing here. First, we're looking at his strength numbers, mainly in comparison to body weight and his overall strength. Joe is very, very strong, so he's in a great place there. So the big thing that we're looking for with him is A, retention of strength, how much strength he retains from bout to bout, and then what we're also looking at is rate of force development, which is how fast he's actually creating that strength. If those two numbers are good for Joe, he's good to throw. All right. C4. Good. Thanks. Good. This is IR. <laughs> Alright, that's really good. So I think my peak is 60 and I got 59.9. What's that tell you? Just how strong my internal is going like this. I'm a stabilized shoulder. And it took me one second to get there for the peak. Time to peak four, so that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna do ER. Fifty-eight point nine. Very good for me for ER. With a one point four second to peak force, that could be a little bit better. Supine shoulder scaption. Forty-two point six. Very good. Usually I'm in the high thirties for that. And grip strength. This is the grip strength king. I'm a low spin guy, so I don't have. I have low spin, so I don't have good grip. Twenty-nine point one. All right, so we're a little down on the grip, but that's fine. I'll just keep the volume down. Cool. So I'm ready to throw, and I have no one to throw with. So I'm just gonna have to stick around for about an hour. You're an hour early. Yep. <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? <clears throat> oh, Jimbo Fisher. What's up, boy? Uh, How's up now? Monkey never come. Jimmy's a good two, aspiring St. John's two, catcher right now. Two banana a day, monkey never crumb. Stop plagiarizing. <laughs> what do you think about Joe in general? 
I love Joe. Um, he's an interesting character. He definitely takes a lot to uh, get used to. But um, I think you can say the one thing about Joe that I appreciate. Yeah, who asked? Is that he's unapologetically himself, no matter the circumstance. Very honest. He's also very, very honest. <laughs> Gary. So this is a 16 ounce Velo U plyo ball that I'm just gonna have in my front side so I'm not ripping open and I can just kind of stay tight, tight and compact. And I'm gonna try and throw this football which is a little bit under NFL regulation size but I'm just gonna try and keep the same arm action and have short compact moving levers. Like that. So what I'm doing right here, why I just have this only for a couple throws, I don't wanna ingrain it the whole entire time, is while I'm throwing this, I just wanna stay short and compact and I don't wanna open up my front side and Kind of just have it like this. I want something firm to rotate around, kind of like that. That's real good. That's nice and crisp right at Jimbo. Feeling really good today. I might tickle 90. All right, I'm pretty much good. I'm ready to throw. I just gotta wait for some people to get here. And have Jimbo Fisher uh, suit up the catching gear. Maybe I'll open up my T spine a little bit. Yeah, I gotta get my pre pre throwing and then pre 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 mobility in. Can we add something to the blooper real soon? Sure. Damn, you're actually getting mobile. I know. Press down more on the peck. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got you. Ready? Yep. But I want you to rotate here. I'm trying. <laughs> That's not how my body works. <laughs> know your limits, fellas. Oh. That was cool. Yeah, sure. Thanks. If you don't mind. I'm bored. I just want to get to it, not through it. Right, Neek? This is actually a really good idea that you have. I think it's it's really good and it'll have a lot of potential and it'll be, become like a little series. I thought this was my TV show, not yours. It's mine now! <laughs> this is one of my Nakona gloves that I use. Different pocket than usually what I'm used to. I call it the banana glove because it looks like a banana. Yeah, baseball! I'm stretching and mentally getting prepared for this bullpen. <sighs> Tom, I can expedite the schedule so you can get out of here early and have lunch. Sounds fantastic. All right, who wants to throw? Not all at once. Jimmy. No. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, let's get this over with. Give me 15 seconds or less and we'll be right back to the video. Right now, all remote evaluations for you anywhere in the world are completely free. All you gotta do is hit the top link in the description, fill it out, and we'll get you started. If you wanna unlock velocity, now's the best time. Let's get you going. I'm gonna start throwing and Nick's gonna come down and yell at me. He's not even here. Oh, he's not? <laughs> When's he gonna be here? I don't know. <laughs> da -da. Da -da. Oh wait, did you get copyrighted if I just perfectly did the grub dive? Do it. Grub hub perks give you deep on the fruits. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so Brandon, can you clear all the debris right there? Thanks. <laughs> you didn't hear anything I said. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Joe. What's up? This is my agent, Matt Gata, with Matt Gata Sports Management, right? No, Gator Sports wow. Management. Yeah! Oh. This is my agent, Matt Gator with Gator Sports Management. He's a great guy, he also represents Aiden Curry over there. Really helped me out a lot. 
Is that good? Is that good television? Oh, give me a, yeah. Jimmy, four. Doing this to practice my arm speed. Four. Four ounce baseball. Three ounce. Three. Really have to delay on this. Nah. I can, I can get upper 90s with this. Are this better? 97? 90 fuck face. Okay. Uh, no, four. Four. Alright, baseball. Slider. Oh yeah. Not bad. Get that up a little bit. I want to try and throw this hard with 15 plus. Yeah. That's real good. Six, not bad. 13, yeah, I can go up a little bit. Change up. Two, let's put that speed a little bit more. We just test the CA. Okay, that's the speed I want. Cut piece. Good, good. That's what I want. That actually cut, right? That actually cut? Oh shit! You like that? Oh. <laughs> I 
expected nothing less. That was fucking awesome. Good. That's what I want to see. That's what you want to fucking see right there. Good. Good. Good work. Throwing strikes too, all that. Yeah. Your four seam is keeping carry really well. Good. It might not show it up there. It's never going to show up there, but from this angle right here, as long yeah, as it's just up shooting. Yeah, with your sinker, it's like you don't need to have like crazy vert on it for, in order for it to appear to stay true. You know what I mean? Mm. 94 in a bullpen. Yeah, That'll good. give me some big league adrenaline. That's going to be a little bit higher than that. That'll be, that's no joke. Good, all right. Just stay the course, keep doing what I'm doing, I guess. High intent uh, lift aid, right, Steven? That's our guy right there, Steven Forty. Cool, all right. Now I just have um, arm care and really high that. Nick, Nick, 94. Good, easy. Paul, let's see the damage you did. Jeez, Oh, yeah. That's a good horse. Wow. That bad, huh? Yeah, so every pitch you just have, to have somebody come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to. Need to. <laughs> time. Paul. <laughs> a little time. <sighs> All right, now we get after it with arm care and blah, blah, blah. And total ball, by the way. But like, oh, let me just throw it. Because yeah. the body moves smoother. Everything sequences better, and then it just goes right to the glove. And slider was up. Slider was 76, 77, but with the sweep I want, not yeah, the 77. Yeah, the shorter sweep, like we had last week. Yeah, it was. No, it, I think there was. Yeah, I, I agree. With, it was upper teens. Yeah, yeah. It was like what I was saying is last week you got to that mile an hour, but it was like yeah, really it, short. It, yeah, it, yeah. it was. And if you're throwing hard sliders like that at like 10 to 12, yeah. they need to be in the low 80s. But sweepers 15 plus yeah, from can. this arm slot will play at, I mean, Seven. they fucking played at three to five in the 70s. The seam shifter slider where you put your fingers on these seams, you get absolutely on the side of the ball. You're trying to spin it tangentially. And you like- Yeah, I know what that means. You, it's just spinning it at like, here's your four seam, you're behind it. You're trying to throw like football. You're getting it. You get the backspin like this. Yeah. Now, on the seam shifted slider, you put your fingers here, but offset it here. You want to feel on the side of it mm. and get this spin, and you want to get the absolute around the baseball like that, spin it sideways, and then that's when it will catch, bite, and rip. And that's and what's rip. keeping its vert, too. When you, the more you have it on a, a 90 degree tilt like this, I as a righty, it would be like, Three or whatever, whatever the one is, but like if you have it like this staying up, that's how you're gonna get the vert up. Yes. It's gonna sweep across like this. The more you tilt that down, that's how you get more yes. slurve. And then if you are like this, aka a curveball, and you're straight 12-6, that's, that's how you get the drop like that, and you can get the negative 20. It's all relative, it's all opposite ends of the bell curve. Yeah. If you can have 20 going sideways, 20 going up, it's just a matter of how well you're getting behind it or spinning it and what axis of the ball you're doing. So mine, which is like this, really supinated and trying to get that extension up front and sweeping it like that, should be way different than how you should so you, it. So you're not killing vert that much or you want? No, I'm not. I want I want to have the ball, I'm throwing it from here. I want the ball to stay up as much as possible yeah. and sweep across so I can get people to get their barrels underneath it and pop it up or swing right through it. Yeah. Oh, doing the same thing, but now post throwing to see how much I've dipped down. I don't know if I'll measure it on the computer. Gary, give us the results. Push. Oh, shit. <sighs> 61 flat. Okay, so we're down a little bit, but that's fine. That's expected. Push <sighs> 53.9. Yeah, it's down. Everything's down, which is expected. Oh. Oh. That's down. And then this one was 29.1, so it should be about six to seven. Yeah. It's good, not bad, not bad. Time for lift. Is it pass? Yeah. Yeah, he's stronger than me. He's way stronger than me. He's a grown man, I'm still a child. Are you gonna now make a workout?
montage. Yeah. It's part of your day. Huh? You've been doing that a lot this off season. What is that that you were just doing? That is a, some eccentric drill that I'm really just focusing on, trying to work the decelerators in the back of my shoulder and just building this whole shoulder area up. Just had a high intense throwing day, so now I want to work some eccentric stuff, really pack on some muscle and fatigue it, so hopefully I recover better and trend in the right direction heading into the season. This is me in the summer of COVID when I had nothing to do. We had to work outside. I think it was 200 pounds. Throwing slow, you know, usual. Oh, oh. never gonna get easier. Damn. Oh, boy. My bad. I can't say that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I didn't say <laughs> Loose cannon, but he wants it. That's what you want to see. Yo, my Kid wants it. Impressive. Is this is this all right? This feels really heavy for me. Cause I was yeah, I was like 50 pounds heavier. Than that. <laughs> All right, so what we're focusing on, so we have a heavy compound lift just because he threw a pin today. So we want to get maximum force stimulation. And then we're also doing kind of like what's called like a shock drop. So he's taking a weight. He's focusing on dropping into that position and pushing into the ground to stop the momentum going down. So he's resisting that downward momentum by applying force to his lift. That's it. Yup. There we go. Yep. Me the, did you get the clip of me hitting him? I got it. Can I see it? So, so far I'm halfway through my day. I just did my heavy lift where I was box squatting and doing some deadlift type stuff after throwing a bullpen and some other things. I'm gonna finish it up with some accessory lifts where I'm just kind of doing some other type of movement based lifts, um, some plyometric stuff, quick moving stuff. Um, other stuff to just target all the muscle, also other muscle groups throughout the body, the little ones where I just attack the big ones. And then the rest of the day is primarily comprised of just getting really good sleep, supplements, and eating a crap ton to fuel all the calories that I burned today and then tomorrow's a big recovery day. I'm taking it really light and easy, low intent throwing, low intent in the weight room, optimizing sleep and nutrition. That's very it. It's a day by day thing that I just gotta keep on doing, but I'm not done yet with today. So I'll just think about today. You want to go?
go up right now and do it? Yeah, okay. I mean, I'll warm up first. I'm not gonna go up there full. Okay, just gonna warm up. Hasn't played in a while since his playing days in college. He's gonna get off the bump. He's in fresh slacks and I think some Kohans. And he's gonna try and uh, see what he can hit. 60, he can definitely break 70. Doesn't matter. Well, I'm getting 70 off the bump. I, I can't do 70 off like this, right? No, you can. You definitely can. I can do 50, lucky. 65, you're gonna crush it. Contract going. Six. Uh -huh. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Let's get a seven. Let's Sixty-seven. Get a seven. Oh, we're creeping. Yeah. Creeping. Creeping. Body's opening up. Creeping. I'm gonna feel this in the morning. Oh, definitely. I'm gonna feel this in the car at home. Damn. Sixty-six. Oh, we're small. We're dropping. We're dropping. Move as fast as you can. Six. Ah. Ah. 65. Nah, yeah, damn it. I might need TJ. <laughs> not bad. My first time showing here in, in slacks. Not bad. If you had to guess what level of collegiate baseball I played, what would you say? D3. He's right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. It's one out of the 120, 150 days in a row after this in the offseason. Good luck. I also made an Instagram, Joe.Lasorsa. I also made an Instagram, Joe.Lasorsa. See ya. That's mine. Right. Say bye. Bye.